So let's talk fresh fruit. It's also the first day that I'm going live on my fit page instead of my personal page to share with you some tips. So each Wednesday around 1.15, I'm going to come live to share with you something, some, some kind of win, Wednesday wisdom to help you as a busy mom, whether it's in your health or your fitness or some kind of mom tip or trick. So if you wanna jump on with me, make sure that you set an alarm in your phone for Wednesdays at 1.15. Wednesday Wisdom with Melissa. I would be so honored to have you here. And if you enjoy what's in this video today, share it with a friend. So I am Melissa McLam. I'm a busy mom of three kids. My kids are nine, 16, and 19. So I still have my little one at home and my older two are very independent, but still keep me very busy. And I enjoy helping busy moms look and feel better. Because let's face it, the older we get, the more difficult it is to lose weight and the way we have abused our bodies when we were younger often plays into our health and our fitness as we get older. And many moms tell me over the age of 40, what is it about turning 40 and it's just like everything starts to fall apart and you just don't feel good. So I'm going to, I'm going to share with you each week how I have learned how to look and feel better because I have not always been this healthy or this fit. So let's talk fresh fruit though today. I wanna to do this simply and quickly so that you can take away some kind of little nugget to use. So it is strawberry season in North Carolina. We're almost at the very tail end of strawberry season. And many people, I mean, for years, I didn't even know how to take care of fresh strawberries. I thought that as soon as I brought all the fresh strawberries in my house, that I needed to immediately wash them and then put them in just some kind of, you know, airtight container. And what I've learned is that is like the absolute wrong way to store fresh strawberries. There is a right way and there is a wrong way. That was definitely the wrong way. So here's what I have learned and I hope that this will be of value to you today. So I'm gonna share a picture in the comments below so that you can see actually what I'm talking about because I'm on, I've already used up all my strawberries, but this is something that I have done just in the last three weeks. And so I snapped some pictures so that you could see what I'm talking about. So I went to the local farmer's market and bought some fresh strawberries in a nice white bucket about three weeks ago. And if I had left those on the counter, they would have kept ripening and ripening and then gotten extremely mushy really fast. So what I do is I don't wash them. I have a refrigerator outside and a refrigerator inside. I'm very fortunate in that regard. So what I did was, is it the first time I left them in the plastic bag, tied up like they're in the plastic basket, and I brought in what I wanted to use and wash immediately, and everything else I left it in the basket unwashed, and then tied the plastic bag back around the handle and put them in our outdoor refrigerator to stay fresh. The next week, I brought them in. I pulled out, I scooped out of the bucket the amount of strawberries I wanted to use and I washed and dried those. And then this time I took a paper towel and put that in the top, over top of the unwashed strawberries that were left. The paper towel absorbs the moisture which creates, which keeps the strawberries from rotting and getting ooky really fast, even in the refrigerator. So I put those back outside and then I, the last time, obviously I didn't have to do any of that. I just washed what was left and this is what is left from that basket. Three weeks ago and these are still super fresh. 
And I like to store them in a mason jar and I go ahead and top them off after I wash them. But y'all, it's key, don't wash the strawberries when you first get them. Only wash what you're going to use. Store that in a mason jar because it lasts longer and it's clear. Your kids can see it. I've learned that if your kids can see what's in the container, they are more likely to use it, okay? So this is blueberries I bought two weeks ago and they still are nice and fresh. I've never washed these never wash them, I wash as I go. Because the fruit lasts longer, because once you wash it, I don't know what it is, but there's something about the whole washing process, and then they get damp, that they get yuck, okay? So if you were gonna take this whole container, and you went to the farmer's market and got fresh blueberries, you would wash them all, and then lay them out um, on paper towels, on like baking sheets, to dry as much as you possibly can get them dry before you froze them, all right? But if you're not gonna freeze your strawberries or you're not gonna use that many, like you're not gonna use this entire container of blueberries at one time, then don't wash them all at one time. Wash as you go and the fruit will last longer. Watermelon, I go ahead and cut the entire thing into cubes. I try to put it in a clear container. This one's not as clear as normal. And sometimes I store my watermelon in mason jars as well. But like, it, like I said, if my kids can see it, then they're gonna gravitate to it. If you have little ones and, and you like to buy clementines, for instance, and that's like so time consuming, like peeling those clementines as you go. If you've got little bitty kids, go ahead and like just peel all your clementines, not all of them, but, but peel a mason jar full of clementines, put them in the jar and they'll save longer. You can also use the same fruit to infuse your water. So a lot of women tell me they don't like the taste of water and y'all water has no taste, but I understand that like certain filtration systems or lack of filtration system keeps the water from tasting nice and pure and refreshing. So if you want to use a purifier on your faucet or use one of those purifying pitchers, if your water has a unique taste to it, and then you can also infuse it with cucumber and mint and strawberries and clementines and watermelon. That way it gives it some flavor and it doesn't get boring and dull, which is what a lot of women tell me. So those are my tips for you today. Um, you can even take, I've seen women do this, which I've never done this, but I've seen women do this. So they take smaller mason jars or they take those um, clear plastic peanut butter jars and once the peanut butter is gone they wash the jar completely really well and then they fill the peanut butter jar because they're a heavy duty plastic um they fill those with grapes and take those to the pool i don't do that because i don't find that the plastic really keeps the fruit all that fresh but if you're going to use your fruit really fast that's a great way to store it I usually put my grapes either in a Ziploc bag with paper towels to absorb the, mo the moisture so they stay fresher longer, or I go ahead and put them into mason jars, and then I've also taken them and put them in snack baggies and frozen them because that's a yummy treat at the pool. So those are my tips for you today. I hope that helps. If you find this helpful, please share it with a friend, share it to your own Facebook page, bookmark it, and enjoy. You guys have a great summer and just join me again next Wednesday. And if you want a free gift, go to my website. I've got the ultimate restaurant guide. If you're traveling a bunch this summer and you want to stay on track and eat healthy, go over to melissamcleam.com and grab your ultimate restaurant guide for free. Bye y'all.